another video. I mean, as you guys know, we are consistent. And today, I am here with the beautiful Yos. <laughs> Never. Please. Please. Only because you said please so nicely. It's Yos channel. Watch out for the body. Yeah. Don't the last one in. <laughs> okay, so we're here on a pause today and she's going to be giving us advice that she wished she knew in her 20s. So we're going to be talking all things finances, career, yeah, education, relationships, mm. social media, Don't. all of that, mm. all of that. Yeah, this is the food that we're having. <laughs> yeah, about mine. I've already started chowing. She's so already started. Yeah, I'm like, how She thought she was starving, guys. Before we even got she was like, so well, I only had breakfast and it's like 5.30. It is, it's so late. We were filming, we were breaking ladies. Mm -hmm. Did you always want to be like a content creator? Kind of, I suppose. Before the title came, mm -hmm. I think 2013, I didn't necessarily have like Instagram, mm -hmm. but I definitely... Why did you have Instagram? I didn't, but I had my my uh, my computer, mm -hmm. my laptop, Toshiba laptop in varsity. I still put it up <laughs> and like technically, you know, I'd mm -hmm. film videos, but I wouldn't post them. So I was creating content and it was specific. Oh, but why didn't you post? Were you scared of like, what people would say? Yeah, there was one that I did. I think it was public speaking, but it was mm -hmm. really like personal development uh, stuff. Nobody knows this actually. Um, and then when I did post, Yo, <laughs> pay for memberships. I'm joking. Um, no, She's I mean, not. <laughs> you know, you know. So I literally just, um, yeah, I kept them. Hmm. And then there was one public speaking video and confidence video, just how to build your confidence that I ended up posting and then I deleted them. Some are made private. I don't know. Like actually everyone goes through that stage and this is the one thing I probably never shared even on, on my own channel. Hmm. Yeah. I just did it. Excuse me. I just, I literally did it. And then when I did post, it was my frustration at work, 2014, 2015. Mm -hmm. I felt boxed in the bank. I needed to channel my energy and I suppose in that way I started feeling like creating content was a good way of me channeling my, my energy, my love for people, my mm. love for speaking, my love for, you know, living out a purpose. It actually made a lot of sense, like all of the things that you love coming together. Yeah, mm. absolutely. So that's, that's sort of how it started and I suppose then I knew that that's what I wanted to do. Outside of the money, I didn't know the money existed. But the money is very important. Oh, guys. the money is good. Girl, we was Don't working today. To you. We was working today. Me and you was working today. So I we know the money. content for clients. Yeah. We really are content creators. We are. And then with all of that being said, mm. what advice would you give someone in their twenties, like someone like me, who's starting, you know, being a content creator? Just entered your twenties. Mm. Like you, you know, like you're not even sure who you are yet. It's just very. Mm. Both the plane as you fly it. Build the plane as you fly it. Imagine flying a plane not even knowing if it's got a second wing. That's that's your twenties. You're still figuring so many things out. And you actually so right. Like I'm you so confused. Exactly. Everything is so confusing. And even what I just said is confusing. But when you think about it, that's life, especially during these times of a lot of uncertainty outside. Mm. Figure it out with your audience. Um, content create, make mistakes. Um, and I do, think do more it. than anything, just start, guys. That's the biggest thing, and that's just the thing about building start. the plane. You're not waiting for the plane to be completed. Mm. You're saying, let me start with the wing. Let's and actually, you are so right, because like a part of me, I always wanted to wait until like I was a certain version of myself before I put myself out there. Like I wanted to work on my. But then I realized that, that when are you gonna get there? Mm. You don't know. So that's exactly why if you're flying the plane, it's already in flight. That's mm. you starting, but it's not finished in terms of you building it. So start and create. Progress is far better than perfection. Some people mm. aim for that final stage and never start. But if you actually start, you see yourself progressing and getting to a place where you've done so much more than mm. you know being fixated in making it perfect. Mm. But then thing is, no, mm. in your twenties. It's so easy to want to be like perfect. Cause also like with social media and the stuff that we see, people are a certain way. So then like how do you get over that? Just jump. That's exactly what I'm saying. Imagine even building a plane sounds absurd, but that's exactly why that works. Build the plane as you fly. Why would you build a plane? 
why would you have things figured out why wouldn't you jump what do you have to lose i always ask myself if i'm taking a risk what do i really have to lose and in my 20s i asked myself well if i had to go bankrupt what what would happen after that like what's the worst thing that could happen mm. you could be hey, you, you can go back home yeah. you can be on ground zero even if you lose like what's the worst that could happen you're not going to lose lord forbid you know you still have your parents or family to take okay, you true, in true. so that's like the most likely situation is that you'll get back up then like when you start making the money and stuff like how do you manage your finances Yo. cause I'm not gonna lie I struggle with that yeah. look guys when I get money you have to you have to really i always made short-term medium-term and long-term goals mm-hmm. from the time i was like really really young i started like working at 17. oh 17. I she's always working. been a working lady I, I, I she's always been a working lady you know so have money to spoil yourself but always have something to save and have a goal attached to it mm. name it you know what is not measured is not managed so if you are not putting your money somewhere else, it's gonna have a name before Ingen. Mm. Whatever you've called it. So you mm. might much rather save some of it and have this big goal and then have a medium term goal and have a short term goal. The other thing is when it's there, the reality is is okay like oh my god now so you said at the same time if you actually don't put it towards something that you really really want. Mm. So like do you think it's okay to spend your money on like materialistic things like bags, shoes, whatever? Or should it be like? I'd say you in your twenties, absolutely. No, my as long as it's something. No, no, not always. I'd say with, with balance. I'm saying balance. yes and no because you have to have balance. I'm sorry, mm. balance. Like for me, if I wanted that Gucci bag, mm. I've told myself now as a working woman, it's one luxury bag a year. That's my limit. Mm. It sounds hella boring because people might be like, "Girl, you need more bags in a year." I mm-hmm. don't. And I like that no matter what, like even with what people say and what, what with what people expect, you stick to your lane. That's my lane. And the thing is, I don't wear, it's not even again, it's wearability. It's so much more expensive <laughs> sitting in my cupboard than it being used. Mm. So what's the point? For me, it doesn't satisfy me, but it's really nice for me to know which I spoke myself personally. But if you're somebody who does lean towards your luxury mm. bags and stuff like that, buy one or two and also allow yourself to be content to actually enjoy it because for some people it's like you get it and you're like what's the next bag have you actually enjoyed the one that you bought i feel like you i me. feel like you being you you're feeling like you're being called out but really are we really enjoying um the things we are buying or are we part of this instant gratification world so much so that we live past the good moments the time mm. when we save it in like you're enjoying your food right now do you enjoy your bag <laughs> like you know so we work hard if we're not going to, to put our money towards the things that we actually really enjoy mm-hmm. and take the time and the moments to enjoy them what's the point for all you preaching i'm mm. preaching <laughs> no but the food is good actually i'm not, mm. so, I'm not mad about it no, i'm glad you suggested this it's really good mm. next question Okay, with regards to relationships, right? Mm. What would you have done to first go to meet someone? I mean, because you can't even know what you're doing. I was even married. <laughs> I was single when I was 20. And I got back with my now husband. Um, well, I feel like you're acting me. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I wasn't single before that. First year, I was playing around. You know, six and then six months into my first year I, I ended that relationship the following year i got into another one six months into that one i ended it and i decided so they were just for six months hmm? like on average when you were still younger your relationship yeah that's the longest no no that's the longest ever lasted before my husband mm-hmm. yeah i had like short 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 is like two weeks mm. I, I feel yo yo yeah i feel better about myself because most of the time my relationship to average were like three months then after that, we're paid. <laughs> yeah, I, like I didn't take them seriously, and like that sometimes. I also didn't want to give my all to relationships. I had other mm. things. I think I was very focused on. Mm. I was focused on um, like the big dreams, the y'alls that wanted to be in the media. I was mm. focused on all those things. I was doing auditions. I was I was very busy, man. Yeah, I was busy. And you so are even I still shows, am. Yeah. Not even busy girl. So I feel like that part of my life needed to pause and I needed to really build up my independence and who I am. So when I got back 
with my boyfriend who's now my husband i knew who i was fully and completely and i was also ready to share that part of my life with somebody romantically mm. and it worked out because we had both had times in our lives where we didn't have anyone else we built ourselves we became independent and we also didn't become so dependent on each other that you lose yourself in a relationship it's, it's really mm. important to take that time of singleness i think personally mm excuse me to get to know yourself like really get to know what you really like what you don't and what you find with men mm. they are so much more articulate about what they don't like more than we are one thing about men they don't compromise your men will never compromise so when them. when do you build that that confidence up when if you don't take the time out to really build that so i think for me personally that's what worked mm. and now i know who i am in my relationship i know that he's got his ish together, I've got mine. No mm-hmm. one can take that away from me. I know when you say like having an ish together, would you recommend finishing school first before you get into like a serious relationship? No, not if your relationship is not a distraction. Mm. No, not if your relationship is not your security. Because then you become mm. you really insecure. Nah, she preaching. You know, but that's you, preaching. you need you, you need a relationship that's gonna complement you and not mm. break you and become the crutch. You don't want to lean on someone or lean on a relationship. At the end of the day, we need a, a dependence. The only dependence I trust is the Lord. That's it. So that's, that's my security, you know. Mm. And when you have that, you are secured in yourself. You are able to then, I think, fully give of yourself in your relationship and fully give that relationship a chance to grow. Mm. They say you've got love and you've got a relationship, and in a relationship, you've got love and you've got relationship, and you work on one of them. Mm. You, you only really get to work on one of them. Some people get to work on the love part, which for me is stupid. What are you guys doing? Mm. But it's the relationship part that's easier to work on than the love part if the love is there. Mm. But how do you love if you don't love yourself and if you're insecure and you, you have a That's the, always start by loving yourself. Hence that singleness, that portion of Find giving yourself, you your you chance. Mm. Yeah. So guys, mm. this marks the end of the video. Mm. Thank you so much for sharing some of your knowledge with us. You are welcome. I'm enjoying the food. It's probably getting me in the mood. <laughs> I've got a date with my husband after this, so. Yo, guys, Saba Wild, they're going for sushi. And this Saba Wild. You wanna come home? It would be a third meal. <laughs> now I've been nosy, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe, rate to 20k, watch out more about it. Yeah. yeah. Till next time, this is from the Consistent Queen. And y'all. Yeah, this is the I'm waiting for. Thank you for coming on. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna thank her off camera. You also did. Imagine, she gonna name me off camera. <laughs> no, thank you for Was I acknowledged? On. I'm joking. I actually, no, actually, I started by thanking you when I said thank you for sharing your knowledge with us. Oh, you did. I'm sorry. See, I apologize. You're welcome. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Bye, guys. Let's eat. That was so awesome.